Hey guys, it's Brittany Monroe with ERA American Suncoast Realty, and today I am going to provide you with a market update for Citrus County, Florida as of March 30th, 2021. And I'm specifically talking about pool homes because they are in such high demand right now. It seems like everybody is um, out there looking for a pool home. And currently we have 61 available homes with an in-ground pool um, available in Citrus County, Florida. So this would cover Inverness, Hernando, Homosassa, Lacanto, Holder, Citrus Springs, Denellen, and Beverly Hills, Florida. So here is a look at what we have currently for pool homes. The least expensive, as you can see here, is $169.9 with our most expensive home being around $4 million. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these properties. Now, under around um, 350,000, we have 20 available options. So let's just go through some of these and take a look. So the least expensive being this 33 South Lee Street. It's priced at $169.9. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage home on just a little under a quarter of an acre. Um, the taxes for this property, this is homesteaded, so it's $518.12 for the year. Um, you can see the school districts here, Forest Ridge Elementary, Citrus Springs Middle, and Lakanto High. This home is not in a flood zone. Let's take a look at some of the photos. Okay, let's go back here. See if I can pull up some of these photos. Okay, now you can see. So it looks like a pretty decent home. You can see it's got a carport here. Nice size living room. Okay, looks like, you know, it could use some a little bit of TLC for sure, but it does have a really nice pool, um, in-ground pool with a cage around it. Okay, so that is Beverly Hills, Florida. Let's take a look at another. Here we have the um, this one's priced at $189.9 on Sarah's and Drive in Citrus Springs. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, two-car garage, around 1,500 living square footage, built in 1992 on um, 0.30 acres. This one's just been on the market four days. I'm sure it won't last long. So here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at some, and this one also is not in a flood zone. Take a look at the photos. Okay, again, a really nice pool. It's got a cage around it. That helps keep some of the leaves and stuff from getting in, inside the pool, of course. Also got a nice little patio area out here. Okay. Nice little shed in back. This one looks like the primary bedroom. A shower here, tub here. <clears throat> okay, the next one we have is Bolger Terrace, seven 
have is in Citrus Springs as well, 7136 North Folger Terrace. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, around 1380 living square footage, built in 2005, priced at 2099. And this one's been on the market for nine days. And if you haven't heard, um, there homes in here in Citrus County, Florida are selling so fast. You can see this one is back on the market. It was pending. Now it's active. Um, this one has around 1,966 total square footage and on a quarter of an acre. Again, not in a flood zone for this one. Let's take a look at some of the photos. some nice curb appeal. Now this one is an above ground pool. Looks pretty clean and tidy. Nice looking kitchen. Tile flooring in there. Looks like maybe it's been freshly painted. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Next one we have is 214 Buena Vista Court in Inverness. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, 1500 square foot, just under a quarter acre. Oh, sorry, I missed Waterway. How can I miss Waterway? 11439 West Waterway Drive in Homosassa, a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage home, uh, 1483 square uh, living square foot, built in 1984 on about a third of an acre for Two forty-four nine. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one um, is in a flood zone. Um, it is located in Riverhaven Village. They've got some nice community amenities there in Riverhaven. A really, really um, nice neighborhood. It does have a homeowners association of one hundred and twenty-five per year and a social membership, um, which is $150 quarterly. And that covers the community pool, the dog park, recreational facilities, and the tennis courts. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the photos. Really lovely curb appeal. Got some palm trees in the front. Really nice pool, the pool cage, of course. This is a nice deck area. Living room, dining, kitchen. Master bedroom with a bathroom, a shower. This would be the guest bedrooms, the guest bath third bedroom or office. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next one is priced at 244.9, 214 Buena Vista Court in Inverness, a two bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, 1500 square foot, built in 1990. Here we are. This one is at the landings in Inverness. Um, they also have a homeowners association for of $115 per month. It covers ground maintenance, irrigation, legal accounting, outdoor lighting, and road maintenance. This one's on public water and public sewer. And it says this one has water access and a boat slip available. It's three minutes to the rails to trails, which if you are not familiar, that is a bike path that runs um, here in Citrus County and it connects to Tampa and probably all other parts of, of Florida as well. I've heard it's a really awesome um, bike trail. I have been on it here a couple, a couple times in Citrus County. Let's go ahead and take a look at the photos. Okay. Photos of this home. Nice pool. You can see they have the tile style roofs. That rhyme tile style. Looks like a really nicely updated home. 
I'm sure this is Lake Salapopka, I believe. So fresh water, boat access, and a boat slip. Nice open vaulted ceilings. Looks nicely updated. Okay, nice kitchen. There we go. Okay, so on to the next one. Next one we have is in Homosassa, Florida on 23 Sweet Gum Port South. I'm sure this is Sugar Mill Woods. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, 1269 living square footage on a quarter acre for 249. Here we are. Um, looks like this one was remodeled recently. It was built in 1985. Um, home uh, Sugar Mill Woods in Homosassa also does have a homeowners association. It's $100 per year and it covers the road maintenance, security, and the site manager. Um, the taxes on this property were very low, $51 for the year. It could be that the person who resides in this home is um, qualifies for extra homestead tax exemptions. Okay, here we are at the picture, looking at the pictures. It's a nice cheerful yellow home. Yeah, it's a garage. Nice big oak tree in the front. Okay. Nice kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Okay, moving on to the next one. Um, 130 West Massachusetts Street in Hernando. Again, another two bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage. This one's on almost an acre and it's priced at $249.9. Been on the market about 20 days. Right, this one's located in Citrus Hills. Um, the Homeowners Association is 138 uh, dollars annually and there's a social membership as well with a fitness center golf pa package recreational facilities restaurants and tennis courts um, and that is uh, has a deposit of two thousand dollars for the year this one is very looks very nice let's go ahead and take a look at it it looks like it's had a new roof, a brand new roof, and it's got a 50-year roof warranty. Wow. Um, the air conditioning system's only five years old. It's got a new well, new carpet, new pool pump, filtration sister, system, new paint inside and out, and the pool depth is eight foot on the deep end. This is a really nice neighborhood, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the photos. Nice open living area, really nice pool, Really nice yard. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, here we are at 4035 Southgate Point in Homosassa. This one's been on the market for about 15 days. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage. Lots of living square footage here at 1930 living square footage and it's on half an acre. 
no homeowners association with this one. Um, this one's also not in a flood zone. Pool. And a nice little one eye. Also a little probably utility type shed or workshop here. Entryway, primary bedroom, fenced in backyard. Well, this is really cool. I believe this is their garage or maybe the workshop out back, but very cool. They've got a pool table here and foosball. Really neat. Okay, let's move on to the next. All right, so I am going to be going through everything up to $350,000 today in this video so we saw gate point the next is ventor 1537 east ventor lane in citrus springs this one's on a half an acre it's located in citrus hills cambridge green it's three bedroom two bathroom two car garage built in 1989 um, this in cambridge greens here the homeowners association is only 75 dollars for the year Okay. All right, let's take a look at the photos of this home. Very nice. Okay, looks like this one, you know, um, could probably use a bit of updating. Maybe some clutter cleared out. Only got a few photos of this home, but you never know if you get into one of these. The, um, you could really fix it up, make it your own, um, cosmetically. Looks like a pretty good option here. It's got 2,000 square foot living, $24.96 total. Um, it says the roof was recently replaced as well as the heat pump, and it has a whole house security system. This could be one where maybe you get into it, you fix it up, might be a good option. Okay, next. Here we are in Citrus Springs at 5531 North Bagwell Point. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, 2,040 square foot, built in 2005 on a quarter acre. Got this one at 279.9. This one again is was pending. Now it's back on the market. It's not in a flood zone. Okay, take a look at the photos. Nice entrance way. Formal dining. A nice open concept kitchen in the living room. Nice neutral colors. I believe this would probably be the primary bedroom. Looks like it because there's an attached bedroom and it looks like a good size walk in closet there. main bathroom. It's got a shower and a tub. Guest bedrooms or kids bedrooms. An additional bathroom. Okay, this also has a really nice lanai. 
and a screened in in ground pool. Okay, Citrus Springs does not have a homeowners association. Um, it is a very nice area. There, there are lots of new homes going up in Citrus Springs at the moment. Bagwell. Okay. Next one we have is 25 Schumard Court East in Homosassa, Florida. It's priced at 284. This one has been on the market for three days. This was built in 1981. It's not in a flood zone. Again, Sugar Mill Woods um, in this Cypress Village, it's $100 for the Homeowners Association per year. Um, it looks like this one has a roof that was replaced in 2015 and the air conditioning system rebuilt in 2019 and a new water heater. They did a partial remodel of the kitchen in 2020 and it has nice stainless steel appliances says it, there's also a hot tub on the on the lanai. Okay. Photos of this one. Looks nice and tidy. Nice flooring, neutral colors. Nice fireplace over here. in Homosassa. All right, next, this one is 718 South Mulberry Point in Inverness. It's a two bedroom, three full bathroom home um, with 2496 living square footage. This is a big house. It was built in 1966 and it's on an acre. This one's priced at 299,000. It's been on the market for a little while, 133 days. Let's check out what's going on. Okay, this one is in Rutland Estates. This is a nice neighborhood. Um, it is it is in a flood zone, probably near Lake Salapalka somewhere, that chain of lakes. Um, looks like they just reduced the price recently. Let's check it out. Okay. Very neat. It's got some beams and a fireplace. Very nice fireplace. Good size. Nice bathroom as well. This must be the closet. Another bath bedroom, bathroom, sorry. Here's the kitchen. Could use a little bit of updating, but not too bad. Nice, this I'm guessing is maybe a bedroom, maybe a bath, no, looking like maybe a bedroom with a connected bathroom. Here's the bathroom, here's the pool. Lots of beautiful foliage out here. This must looks like a deck. Okay. I see. Here's the steps leading down to the canal. So it's on a canal. Nice, beautiful oak trees. Got a carport and looks like a little shed here as well. Really nice. Okay, let's check out the next one. Okay, so 138 North Rosebush Point in Lakanto. This one seems pretty unique. It's a five bedroom, three bathroom, 
two car garage home, 2260 square footage, built in 1989 on a third of an acre, priced at 299. Okay, so this one's located in Crystal Oaks. Again, a very nice neighborhood. It does have a homeowners association of $212 per year, and that covers the community pool. Nice vaulted ceilings, good size living room. This must be the primary bedroom. Double sinks here. This is nice. It's been updated for sure. Kids bedroom. Another kids bedroom. Main bathroom. This is kind of interesting where they've done the little barn door decorating for the mirror. Here's the kitchen. Looks like some nice cabinetry and countertops. Good size pool. All right, there we go. On to the next one. Okay, guys, here we are at the next one. This one's $320,000. It's 2844 West Santana Drive in Citrus Springs, Florida. This one's a four bedroom, three bathroom, two car garage with 2394 living square footage and 3150 total. It was built in 2006 and it's on a bit over a quarter of an acre. Um, it looks like it has two master bedrooms with master baths and vanities garden tubs, and walk-in showers with large closet closets. It's been freshly painted. It's on a corner lot. It's fenced. This looks like a great option. Again, not in a flood zone. All right, here we are. Very nice um, tray ceilings. And also access. Um, I believe this is the master bedroom, and this looks like a sliding glass doors to the pool, which is always nice to have a view of your pool from your master bedroom. Oh, good size bathroom. guest bedroom or an office, main bathroom, other bedroom, guest bed, kids bedroom. Okay, so here's another um, master bedroom. This one has a walk-in closet as well as a bathroom attached. Both have garden tubs, both ba main bathrooms, good size walk-in closet. Okay, this is really nice. Um, a really nice lanai here. You have this big front window where the breakfast nook is and a good size pool. This one's really conveniently located to Crystal River or Inverness. It's basically central to everything you need. Um, oh, this is the one on Santana. This is Citrus Springs, not Crystal Oak, sorry. Uh, really nice option, $320,000. Okay, so here we are, one of my favorite neighborhoods. I believe this is Pine Ridge. 
Um, this is 4919 North Baywood Drive in Beverly Hills, priced at $324.9. This home is on an acre. It's 2,000 living square foot, 2,800 to total square footage, built in 1994. The homeowners association is only 90, not $95 per year, and that covers the tennis courts. Okay. Looks like it's got solid, solid surface countertops in the kitchen. Magnolia tree, nice size pool, nice open concept living room and kitchen with vaulted ceilings. It's a nice shower, nice walk-in closet. Okay. Okie dokie. We are Next, we have 1020 West Olympia Street in Hernando, two bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage, 1751 square foot on an acre for $339.9. Okay, it looks like this one's been completely remodeled. Soft closed cabinets, granite countertops, all new appliances. Okay, this is in Citrus Hills. It's $138 for the Homeowners Association, and the social fee is $142 per month with a community pool, day spa, dog park, walk, fitness center, golf package, racquetball courts, rec recreational facilities, restaurants, tennis courts, and walking trails. This home was built in 1985. Okay, very nicely updated. It's got great curb appeal. I love these bay windows here with the plantation shutters. They're so pretty. Ooh, we got sliding um, pocket doors here. Very nice. Lovely granite countertops. Everybody loves these white, um, this white cabinetry right now. And as I mentioned, it does have soft closed cabinets as well. And stainless steel appliances. Got a little wine rack here, if you like wine. Nice and neutral. This one's pretty. I'm trying not to flip through the pictures too quickly. <laughs> this must be the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Again, completely remodeled, very modern. Really nice um, shelving in the closet as well. Okay, this looks like possibly a family room. laundry room. Lots of storage. In-ground pool. This is a really lovely home. All right. With Olympia Street, now we are on 
815 North Tower Way. This one's listed at 345. It's in Citrus Springs, three bedroom, three bathroom. Uh, built in 1995. This is a big house, guys. It's got 2892 living square footage and 4810 total square footage. Wow. Okay, so split plan, three bed, three bath, formal living room, formal dining room, breakfast room, family room, library, study, fitness room with its own bath and entry and exit to a screened in lanai. Wow, this one looks really nice. It's located in Citrus Springs, no homeowners association and not in a flood zone. Okay, so this must be the formal dining room. Here's the living room. Okay. Size kitchen. This one would be great for a big family. Good size pantry. Nice pool with papers. Good size lanai and a outdoor kitchen. Good size garage. Little shed out here. All in all, a really nice home. Okay. Next, we have 10 Norfolk Lane West. This is also going to be in Sugar Row Woods. Three bedroom, two bathroom, three car garage, 2389 square foot, built in 1994 on half an acre. Priced at $345. Okay, this was in this one's in the enclave within Sugar Mill Woods. Has plantation shutters. The roof was redone in 2012. It's got dual pane windows and a heat pump replaced in 2009. This one is the enclave part of Sugar Mill Woods. So its homeowner association is $200 per year and then a monthly homeowners association of $90. This one is a three car garage home. Very nice paver driveway. Palm tree in the yard. A really interesting pool. Open kitchen, vaulted ceilings. This would be an office area. Formal dining, master bedroom, master bath, double sinks with a shower and a, and a garden tub. Good size lanai, let's go back fans. You can open all these curtains up and have just a wonderful view of your pool. All right. Next, We're getting close to the end of the list. Okay, here we are on 2847 Mustang Drive. This one's going to be in Pine Ridge. $85 annual homeowners association. They recently had a price cut from $348.5 to 
it's um says it's got an open floor plan triple sliding door hideaway for an open feeling all right let's just take a look at it really nicely done on the outside would be the formal dining area, kitchen, vaulted ceilings, living room, sliders that lead out to the pool, nice countertops, key laundry room, This one looks really clean and moving ready. Okay, guys, this is the last one on the list under $350,000. Again, we're talking about pool homes available as of today, March 30th, 2021 in Citrus County, Florida. Here we are, 2210 West Sailors Haven Court in Beverly Hills, Florida. It's a three bedroom, four bedroom, three bathroom, um, says one car garage. Uh, 2288 square foot built in 1992 on 1 1.57 acres and it's priced 349.9. This one is also located located in Pine Ridge. Okay, it says it's on a cul-de-sac. It's got two master suites. Okay. Had a roof in 2012, AC in 2018, 2019 appliances, and it has a detached 12 by 16 garage with electric, as well as an 8 by 16 storage building and a circular drive. Okay, again, in Pine Ridge, they have a 95 yearly homeowners association fee. Let's take a look at the photos. Very nice, Lanai. Looks like you've got some privacy in the backyard as well. There's the detached garage as well as this little shed here. Oh yeah, nice and private backyard. Very interesting. I bet that gives a lot of natural light in the living room area. Nice flooring. Okay. Kitchen with a nice bar and a formal dining room as well as a little breakfast nook over here. I think you could make it. Double sinks. Really nice pool area. 
All right, nice aerial view as well. So this would be the Pine Ridge Golf Course here. That's what they're highlighting here, green. So that is very nice. Nice and private backyard. All right, a really great option. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me um, as I am sorting through what available pool homes are on the market here in Citrus County, Florida. If you are interested in purchasing a pool home or if you are a seller or someone who's thinking about possibly selling your pool home, I would love to help you. I have buyers that are pre-qualified and or pre-approved and waiting on the perfect deal. So give me a call at 352-507-5675. Have a good one.